Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this preview. Today we're previewing Tower Wars. This is a really interesting game here. Uh, you got single player, multiplayer, and their profile options. Uh, boards, feet, stats, okay. Uh, you got your options, you got your help. Brings up the steam window, etc. Uh, just, oops, get out of there. And uh, tutorials, exit, and uh, yeah, and even single player, you got meat versus metal, classic tower defense. I assume that's just mobs versus uh, you building towers, and I'm going to show you what that means here in a minute. You got multiplayer, ranked season play, unranked co op. So, single player, we're going to play meat versus metal. I do suggest checking out the tutorial quickly, even just to learn the basics. Uh, there's a few different ranks uh, that you can play. Um, of course, we're going to start with uh, rank. Oh, rank to. Oh, rank to 10, it looks like. Uh, we're going to use the basic map, but there's a few maps. Uh, so let's get started. This is a really interesting Tower Wars, because usually Tower Wars is you build towers, they send the enemies, that's it. This one, on the other hand, is that you both build towers, uh, and you both fight and send uh, troops against each other, which is really interesting. So it has this cool little you know, lobby awaiting. Of course, we're going to be playing against the AI. Um, I'm not brave enough to go against real players, so... Uh, as far as I know, uh, this is the enemy, the enemy pathline. Uh, if you hit F4, you can turn on and off. So they're going to send their guys all the way up here. So the first thing you're going to want to probably do is prevent them from kicking your butt. Uh, the way we can do that is we can start setting up towers here. And you can manipulate the pathing, by the way. Keep that in mind. So we can go like this and manipulate the pathing and force them into a zigzag like old school RTS games right there we go uh, not only that what we're gonna do is we can upgrade our mines we actually have mines yes the mines in the game that you can increase your gold so what we'll do is we'll end up buying more over time unfortunately it looks like we're not gonna be able to uh, we need battle points I guess uh, I'm not sure if you can earn battle points by killing them or only by um, attacking them, but we're going to find out here in a minute because our towers are about to fight these guys here. Here we go. Okay, it looks like we need to send our troops in to do the battling. So, uh, let's, let's start doing that. So how to do that? Down here you can just start sending these guys out. Um, unfortunately a little sacrificial, you know, <laughs> but there you go, 100 uh, points, we can go crazy since we know we we're going to want them anyways, and launch that many. And here we go, so my guys will go all the way around, and of course they're going to get owned by these towers. Looks like he's already got two miners going. Darn it, I need my battle points. There we go. So we're getting battle points by sacrificing guys. <laughs> so, um, we can go ahead now and upgrade our mines. You can see the uh, rate here increase. Which is great. It'll be great now, our gold is slowly increasing. <laughs> now, I'm assuming if we place one there, actually it says you can't anyways, okay. Oh, so you know in some games that you can place the tower there, but then they start destroying the buildings? In this game, it's the opposite. Um, they will actually prevent you from just building there, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, I just want to keep upgrading my mines. I feel like that's more important than anything at this point, so uh, that's kind of why I'm doing that. Oh, the adorable guys are sort of slipping through here, which is fine. That's going to happen. So now the idea is, oops, oh, you could just, for the last one, I guess. Oh, that's cool. God, man, that's pretty cool. Huh. There's some tips here, too, to pay attention if you like. 
So we got our tower set up. This is so cool. I'm excited. And uh, we're going to go and launch our army now, or set up an army, I guess. Uh, to unfortunately be slaughtered, but uh, at least we know it's for a good cause for more battle points. Their gold mines are actually increasing here quite a bit too. Man, this AI might be just smarter than me. They're even doing zigzag patterns here. Bastards! I thought I was the one who knew that. Smart AI, huh? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so now we're getting more battle points. Minor upgrades. There we go. Until we hit the 200 there, which we're gonna soon hit pretty decently. It's kind of nice now that we're getting all the gold pumping in like crazy. And if you do this, you can repair it, it looks like. Repair or sell or cancel. Interesting. I'm interested to buy this. Tower sell. Not l knowing everything. I probably, you know, I didn't follow the entire tutorial. I only watched about 30 seconds of it. But of course, you're going to miss and not learn everything. But that's fine. That's part of the game. Uh, this is just a quick preview for you guys. Um, you're, you're gonna want to have to learn and enjoy the learning experience as well. So, uh, let's go and upgrade the rest of the miners here. Beautiful. Oh, that's an upgrade button. Never mind. That's not a repair. That's upgrade. So we can upgrade the mine. Oh. Oh crap. Oh, I see. You up oh okay, and then you can re upgrade it again with more Oh okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's cool. Now I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like a little schoolgirl right now. It's like let's send in the the slaughter fest here, because I want more battle points. Damn it, the AI is smart. Stop it, AI. Stop it! They're like, they know I'm coming, so they just wanted to really screw with me. Holy crap! Oh, that's me. I thought that was them. I was like, oh, I'm a little worried. Now that we know that, uh... It's gonna be a bit of a pain, might as well go crazy, right? Oh, you have, you can only do a certain amount of waves at a time, there's a timer there. But hey, at least we're getting our battle points. Four, three, two, one, go, 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 go! Do it! So when you upgrade this, this is bringing 12, oh, okay. So, it looks like when you upgrade it, it goes back to 12.5 right okay so the upgrade costs quite a bit but um well it's definitely worth it because then you can upgrade it further there you go so you don't really get anything out of quote unquote upgrading it so if you don't really need it that second don't bother but once you're ready to fill guys in it as well which we definitely are So sad, like how bad they're slaughtering my poor guys. Now you don't need to evenly, because it seems that they always cost the same amount, and they probably is like evenly upgraded. But I enjoy the thought of evenly upgrading them a bit. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> oh crap! They're defended a bit more. It looks like. Okay, so, oh yeah, look at that gold come in now.
Yeah, battle points are out. Okay. If you hit tab, you can reload. I found that out by accidentally. You can reload your last amount of guys, so... We'll send them in and kill them. Do, do, I love the music. It's kind of cheerful in this game. Here we go. So they're coming for me now, huh? And I'm sure there's a shortcut you can probably like just hover over them and do it, but uh, actually you could just go to options and controls. We can look up that. Uh, toggle. Okay, we'll have to go slower. Quick sell. So we're looking for a quick uh, upgrade, right? Toggle, camera pan, remove last unit, send unit. Oh, space. So tab and space, that would do that really fast. Toggle. Castle, gold hide, player, message, huh. Quick sell. There might be no uh, quick repair. Or I just, it's a different wording to it and I just didn't understand it. Um, okay, so let's send out another set of waves. Oh crap. It's going pretty good here. So points, uh, our battle points are 215 right now. Oh, we're waiting four seconds for the next wave to send out. There we go, sending our wave in. So just... It doesn't really cost us anything to upgrade these, does it? That's pretty nice. Oh, they're on the max now. Okay. Tab and send. Oh, we still have to wait. Basically, I'm just going to start spamming that because you really need your battle points, you know? Now it's owning them even quicker, which is great. What was the quick sell key? I wonder now. Uh, controls. Quick sell is left control. Oops. It's shift, guys. To quick upgrade is shift. Okay. So let's look in the options. What was shift called then? Shift, shift, shift. Left shift, toggle build last. Ah. Oh. So there you go. It was just something a little more confusing for me. Beautiful. Oh crap, they're coming in even better. Oh, well, they're not going to get through me now. Okay, um... So we can go through all these, basically. Sending our guys. Beautiful. It's good we just upgraded all those. Okay, so how do we unlock this? We have to learn how to unlock, which I think is done here. Increase run speed. Huh. Oh, he uses a lot of battle points. Interesting. Tip, if your opponent unlocked a new unit, be on the lookout. Tip, be on battle points. But if defense or solid, pour your money into attack. Okay. The knight. What is this? What should be a surrender button or something? Upgrade ammo, reinforce armor. Huh. 
So you can actually upgrade that. What is this one? That's the barracks. Oh, unit upgrades? Ah. There we go. So now we know you can do it. Uh, send out more units. I think we're going to have to upgrade towers here too. What does this do? High uh, damage tower that stuns enemies for two seconds. Oh. Pours a bucket of lava on them. What the frig is this one? Slows enemy units down by 30%. Huh. Boosts uh, allied towers within range, 15% damage. Well, that's cool. What? You get like a Tesla tower? So this one was just the cheapest, right, at the time? Oh, well, that's cool. So you probably don't want to do long range towers yet. Cancel. But we can look into... So like for example here, right? We can go into this Tesla one. And... Just keep upgrading it over and over and over. Okay, I might have not understood what it does, but whatever. Looks badass. Oh crap, we gotta keep sending guys in. We're derping up, not sending our guys. Okay, that's pretty badass. Okay, so let's go and look at units here. Um, so you have to work your way there. So, um, no special bonuses. Uh, health and armor. Oh, okay. Was that chained? No. Okay. Well, we got that going anyways. Um, boy, they're towers. Okay, let's see what else we can do for towers anyways. Uh, so we want them to go there, but we don't want to clog that. How do we do that now? We might not be able to, we might just have to let them swing around. So let's go... We have to decide what we want. This tower does so much damage and I'm quite... This one here. It stuns. I think that might be something we need over here, to be honest. Like, put it right here. Oh, nope. I didn't mean that. Remember, it does the last action, right? So you have to hold it down. This thing here, right? Seems ridiculous, this tower. I'm excited to uh, launch it, or see it, how it works. Okay, so we wanted to consider redoing this part. So if we go like this and say, hmm.
Right against the shields, huh? Probably do that. So, I'm assuming it will let- oh wait, you can block that? I wonder if they would destroy the mines though. Do you, do you think they would destroy the mines if I did that? I didn't know you could do that, huh. No, it just goes around. Ah. You can hold shift so you can easily do this. There you go. Those like large scale upgrading is actually helpful. Okay. I've never got to see this new hammer in action yet. Let's see how it goes. This might be a little longer episode because I mean I'm pretty sure people would like to see a victory or a lose or something here so. Um, oh, they're not sending in the units right now. Beautiful. Look at all those points we're sending in. Okay, so now we got to uh, upgrade some more units here. This one's not shields. Oh, look at that one. Work on that one next. There you go. Now here's the question. Do these give me more battle points when I send them out, I wonder? They probably would, actually. I think it's time for us to do uh, gold production, though, so... Let's upgrade these. Oh, auto battle points. Oh, we keep missing to see that new hammer. You guys have probably seen it, but I don't pay attention enough to see it. I just want to see the hammer in action. Boy, they've really uh, towered up too. Oh yeah, here they come. Come on, hammer. Boom! Oh, that reload time. It doesn't even get a second hit in <laughs> uh, Interesting. Oh yeah, we need to send more units out. So we were thinking of sending even the, the new ones out, I guess, here. Interesting. They're gonna probably all go crazy on upgrades now. I'm gonna be interested. They have force fields on them, do they? So the real question is, do you get more battle points sending in your elites in, or do you get more if I were to send the other, you know what I mean? I get quite a bit out of that, but... We'll send a bunch of those guys in. See what happens. Fool the king.
These guys are little badasses. Weird, I think you get more out of those guys some point wise. Huh. Wow, they got far. Interesting. Okay, let's do. I want to upgrade these still, so. Uh, send out another wave. Yeah, I just want to get my gold mines up again, just so we can have an insane amount of gold coming in. So I guess now that we've learned, uh, you know, from my early start there, it definitely looks like you're better off to uh, remember to keep sending in those troops, like clockworks. I'm amazed. Like, I was expecting this game to last like 15 minutes. We're almost at the 30 minute mark and we'll probably be here for another 30 minutes. So it's going to be my longest episode for a, a preview, but uh, it'll be well worth it, I think. There we go. So all my mines are upgraded. Yay! <laughs> Do I see a shark in the water there? Oh yeah, look at that. A little extra detail. Cool. We're, like copying each other with the same things. But they're rank 3 and I'm rank 1 shields, I guess. Is that what that means? Send another wave of them out. Here we go. Okay, so, um, time to check out units again here. We were looking at something ridiculous looking here. I guess we have to wait, but we're gonna get there in a second. There we go. Uh, health armor. This is like badass. Get some colossos after them now. <laughs> oh crap, they're kind of getting far there. We're gonna have to fix that soon. Uh, actually, no, we weren't gonna do that. How do we? Do that, I guess. I guess if you keep tabbing, it goes through the waves. I'm interested to see what this one does. Okay, we need to worry about this because they're starting to uh, get through a bit more here. So, um, we need to build more types of towers here. Speed is insane on that. What is this one here? Ah. Is this just expensive? Is that all it is? Damage, yeah. Oh, I don't think you can even use that. A high damage tower that stuns enemies, blah blah blah. Pours a bucket of lava on enemies sitting in a fire wave. I feel like this is just like the way to go. Arrows. Oh, it changes the routing when you do that. 
Interesting. So you gotta learn to block it and whatnot. Interesting. Oh crap. That's gonna be problems, I think. We'll have to see what we can do about that. Um, Cause then they can just go the one way, right? It's not like me do much of a zigzag. Damn it. I guess that's what we're just gonna have to play with for now. There we go. And then you can slowly upgrade these units. And of course we haven't been sending units, so we're getting like no battle points. There might be even like a select all those type of towers. Either way, we're gonna be good there for now, I think. We just need to send in more uh, troops. Units. Teleporter or something? What the frick? I'm kinda interested in that one. So get like a little box on them, a little Doctor Who box. <laughs> Phone booth. What the frick are those things? What the heck? I feel like I'm not using those properly to be honest. Send our next wave. And I think we can actually uh, increase some of this, can't we? Probably the amount you can send. Um, so, what do we have here? 42 seconds, huh? That would be kind of cool. Weak armor. Increase armor of all units by 8%. Huh. Increase health of all units. Increases shields. Increases battle points gained by each unit. That is what I want. Increase health of all units. Because we have to do that anyways. Increase max number of units. Oh, time for another wave. Um, 40, 39, oh yeah. So we're gonna increase our waves now, yeah. This is gonna be exciting. There we go. Right. 
This is going good. Oh man, these guys are lasting so long, much longer. They're probably not happy with that. What about the barracks again? Oops, barracks place. Um, and we can send our next set out now. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so what about increase? Uh, spawn one additional unlock tier one to four at the end of each wave, huh? What is this one? Increase the max. Oh, there we go. That's the one we want. So if we do last time, now we'll actually have one more. These guys aren't going to be happy with my power soon. Oh, they are slipping through now. Oh crap, I set one less. I had it loaded, but I forgot to actually hit that instead. Uh... So this is like our best unit possible, I guess? The Godzilla unit, we'll just call it for fun. There you go. Hmm, 11... I don't think I can unlock it yet, or...? Oh, it's still locked. You have to unlock one of these. Oh. We just went through a lot of battle points doing that. And one more. Oh, actually. Oh, have we been sending the horses in? There we go. What those guys? Give them hell troops. Give them hell troops. <laughs> Let's just end up being like a three hour episode. <laughs> This doesn't show up on the screen. Nope. Okay. Wow, they actually get pretty decently far, don't they? And send out another wave. Because we're already sending another wave before they can destroy that wave. That's that's good, I think. I feel like that's progression. So now we can build this ultimate one. Oh my, that was kind of creepy. Holy crap, that cost 1600 for each unit. Right, for good, we can unlock another version of them. Um, but not in that, this one, this one, there we go. Yes! There we go. Oh! I think they're so screwed now. I don't think they have any chance on me. Oh, his shields are down now. But even his armor is ridiculous. And then we're just going to keep upgrading them. And then they're going to slip by soon. So 
So yeah, now what we do is we probably upgrade this more and more. Except we can upgrade those guys themselves even more. So, maybe we need to look in that even. Uh, what else can we do? Just increase our stats even ridiculously more. Okay. And more. It's not like you could do much more with them. Okay. Speed. There we go, I think that's the way to go with these guys. Since they can do long range. Oops. How long range is this now? Oh, is it all the way over there? Okay, yeah, I think that would be the way to go with that. Um, so can we do it over here too, I guess? Yeah. Oh no, those are the ones that we don't want to do. Shoot. Keep sending guys, Ken. Okay, we want to send this one. There we go. Yeah, I think we're doing good there. I wonder if they would shoot even up here. That would be crazy. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, we're out of gold. That was not expected at all. Oh, we're maxed on everything. Oh, okay. So apparently it gets to a point where you actually run out of gold. Then again, those towers are probably ridiculous costing too, so... Huh. Someone's one or one additional unit tier one to four at the end of each wave. Huh. I don't quite get that, but might as well, right? Increases health of all units by twenty percent. I feel like that's another might as well kind of, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So we need to slowly increase our battle points, but we also have to get our gold up again, so... Because I guess using those big units was a bit of a waste right now. And I'm assuming you should probably stack some of them together, like, 
Uh, there's because there's special bonuses, isn't there? Boost shields of a unit within radius of 30 by 27 point blah blah, blah for every second. Interesting. So I wonder if you could interlace this and this guy. That's interesting. It's too bad we're not bringing gold in fast enough to give that too much of a try, you know. But hopefully here soon we can play around with that. Um, increases health falling units. I guess we should do some of the simple ones here now. Increases a shield. Increases the health of all units by. Oh, you just hit max here. There. I feel like everything's gonna go well here soon. <laughs> Okay, send another wave out. It is too bad that these don't actually launch over there, because they do have the range, but I guess they wanted to be a little fair. Because that would have been smart if you could do long range bombardment. You probably just fill this up and just let them shoot over there all the time. But then that would be cheap, right? So can't be cheap now. Um uh, send another wave. They're actually getting through. That's what's kind of scary. These even these low units are getting pretty far now. Which means we're getting there. Oh, forgot we had that one too. Well, I guess we have tons, we're just trying to get them all up eventually here. Just send a bunch of these guys out for fun. Wonder how many points I would get out of that. They probably wouldn't make it far though. Watch that actually be better for points. I'm so curious about the point generation to be honest. Those are upgraded really well too, so maybe they'll last longer, yeah, huh. Now I'm a little curious on that. Nice, got those shields maxed. So we're, yeah, we're getting everything maxed here. We're just lacking the battle points. The unit made it all the way there. Not bad. Give 
<laughs> this is insane the amount of uh, <laughs> upgrades you can get. So we're looking at like 1k plus now. Same spot again. So I guess the challenge is to see how far I can get them to go each time. Get them slightly further each time. I'm hoping I don't run into these issues over here. I think that's fine once it gets over here. Oops, wrong one. I'm gonna keep getting these up. Okay. You know, it'd be interesting if they showed each wave, like how many waves you've gotten through the. Yeah, those guys got the furthest now. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're sending like a random extra unit sometimes, I guess. Because of the one of those abilities. Nice. So you got all the way over here. <laughs> and sending next wave out. Oh yeah, my little bait asses. Okay. They have, I guess, similar upgrades? Or no, maybe... Oh, well, they're AI, so they mix and match, I guess. That's true. Forgot about the AI being special like that. There we go, three more upgrades to go. It's like, what, three more waves, pretty much? Seems like a wave and upgrade now. This makes me a little more nervous. Them slipping so far. There you go, ten more seconds, and we can set another wave. And then hopefully, we'll be there. <laughs> was I slow on that one? I think I was a jerk and was a bit slow. Okay, so... Oh wow, 1500 now. I think their shields might be lasting a lot longer too. Well, I guess they would be, because I guess the upgrades... Keep giving them. Oh, we got another battle points to get those shields up one more time before the next wave. So let's see them. Oh yeah, look at that. Four shield uh, bubbles or whatever. 
Watch it actually, like, there's a cap on the big unit, so they don't actually have, like, a zillion shield bubbles. Downside is they're slowly upgrading more and more, too, so... Even though I keep sending my units even a bit further, they keep upgrading a bit further. But we are actually getting there. Actually, no, we're not. We have to go through all that yet. So I can take that back. I feel like, oh, you know what? We're actually getting there. And it's like, no. Not even close. Actually, I don't think we'll make it to uh, to max this out. They should make it so when you get the last like upgrade possible, they give you like some crazy bonus. Darn it. We'll have to wait till our next one. Actually, it'd be interesting if you could still upgrade this once the wave went through, but... to 60. A little bit more. Maxed. No. I guess it doesn't get applied on that. So there we go. We maxed everything, I think, here. Damn. Like, there's not much more we can do now. I think this is when we just send in the big guys at that point. I guess we want to get enough battle points just for that, so one more wave and we'll get that uh, new set of battle points. Oh, now, so there there might be a reason grant special abilities, right? So there might be a reason to upgrade certain units. Um, increases wave run by 10% and DPS. Huh. So now you're gonna probably have to mix and match some of the units uh, for, like, for example, speed bonuses or um, shield buffing, things like that. It looks like on death drops a device that heals units within. Huh. Container unit. Oh, so you fill them up and then, oh. I'm thinking we just go crazy and send that one in. Not that I feel like that's a worthy cause, but. I would like to see their performance on the field now. Oh, they sent the shield people behind them? That might actually go further then. Oh! Now remember, there might be an over cap or whatever. Oh crap, they slowed them down. I guess it's not bad, that happens. Hopefully that hits one of them and not one of these back units. Good. Okay. Hate to be that guy, but I think we might have won. I think we got enough upgrades now. We could just pump these guys non-stop. He's taking no damage. Now don't forget there's two guys overlaid, so we might not see the one guy's health. Maybe they're picking on him and he's almost dead, right? But I think we might have won this. I should stop spamming that, huh? Till the 20 seconds are up. I think I did it, guys. I think I really did it. I think we're going to win. I think it just you needed to be patient. Oh, no, the, the guy's shields went down. So once the shields went down, it was game over for him. 
Oh, I don't think we won. <laughs> I think it was just too... Well, no, actually, his health and armor's still up. It's actually still possible. Oh, he's gonna get owned here. Look at all that damage. I think if we keep doing this, we're persistent on this, we'll be fine. Yep, there we go. They have made it to their door. Wait, why are they going slow there? Is that like a mechanic, I guess? There we go. I noticed some of the health was gone before. I wonder if that might have been from before if I got through or something. Didn't even realize. Oh yeah, there's no way. We won. So that wasn't bad. It took a little over than an hour to finish our first tower. That's really interesting. I can see games even being longer later on. Next wave has just arrived. Yeah, they just do the sitting thing there. Interesting. So, like, hello, can we walk into your palace, please? Either way, we did it. And there she goes. Oh, we just got achievements for that. Nice. Beautiful. Hey, uh. So there you go. Oh, you got some stats here. I love stats like this. You get this in like the old RTS games. So, uh, red and blue. So, of course, I was the blue. Red. And it talks about all the towers. They had even more towers. I guess they were better at uh, fitting towers in than I was. That is cool. Units. So I'll set a lot of useless units. Apparently, I sent more units over time. But then again... Do they do total of... Oh, no. Hmm. But I sent a lot of young, like the lower level units. They sent more of the medium and even some of the higher ones. Interesting. Income. Here we go. So I like to see the income. They brought in 65,000 gold, and I brought in 132,000 gold. They brought in 30,000 battle points. I brought in 46,000 battle points. Wow. Cool. So anyways, there you guys have it. That is uh, Tower Wars, which was actually really fun. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot. So definitely check that out. It'll be in the link in the description to the Steam page. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please just don't forget to subscribe, comment, like if you actually watched this far. And we'll see you next time.